What's up guys, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another uh, part in our series, uh, B-Sides, okay? So we just checked out uh, Mama Moo's Travel, uh, and now we're checking out My Star. I was really blown away by Travel because it, not only do I love it, but I love it because it's it's so different like it's it's a sound and a side of them i haven't seen before and just like i said in the other video like why didn't i start exploring b-sides from from uh, them and girls generation who we started this series with before right so let's check this out this is uh again randomly picked just from best of's uh list that i found on the internet so this one's called my star tropical Brass. That. Hold on. I love it. Reverse. Okay, we're going to pause here. I don't know if we're going... No, I think we're probably going into a pre-course. Okay, I just wanted to talk about the mix. It, there's not a lot of sounds. You can. It feels like you could walk around inside of that mix. It's really, really nice. And I like how they brought in... I don't know what that uh, effect is, uh, but it's a reverse, uh, reverse effect underneath. It's very bright and just cool. There's just a lot of cool... Um, sound selection in this and i like how minimalistic it is it's just a it's just a real nice vibe okay let's go back a little bit and see what we go into it's a high-pitched violin maybe the noise effect going back and forth I love it. I just got chills. Okay, we're going to pause right here. Holy shit. It felt like it was going to get bigger, especially with all these 808s. It felt like it was going to get a little bit harder, but I love how it's done. It's just brass, a big old 808, and their amazing vocals over it. It's 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 definitely is a harder edge song, and I don't think I've heard them like this uh, before either. But what I'm loving about it so far is that it's perfectly suited to them. Like it's it's like something I never knew I wanted to hear from them. Right? Like it's really really smartly done uh, because it still suits them, even though they are digging a little bit deeper, uh, a little bit harder. Uh, it's really really cool. All right, let's go back and see where we go next. Yeah, I love it. Let's work up the night sky. Whoa. Is that Hawasa? I can my mind. Okay, I, I, first of all, there's just too much going on. Okay, how does such a light, oh, not light, but a, a nice open mix just all of a sudden just feel overwhelming? Okay, let's go back a little bit. I really liked, uh, I believe this is Moonbuel starting. I really like the take behind her because it's not a harmony. Uh, let's go back and hear this again. Yeah, let's go back. Let's work up the 
Yeah, it is a harmony. It's really, really, really cool. It's like a, a sing rap, right? It's just really nice and cozy, and it sounds like they have a radio effect on her, so she's she's like lo-fi in the background, and the mix is really, really cool, and then they dropped it out. Uh, and I'm assuming that the other girls are rapping as well. I, you guys have told me that they, they do. I just I don't think I've ever heard it yet, so this is really, really cool. Let's go back. Very nice and mature, which suits them. That's really, really cool. Whoa, there was a harmony there too. Hold on, let me go. Woo, they sound really, really good in this. So single voice here. I'm going to assume that's Hawasa. That sounds like Hawasa. And then some ad-libs in the back. But whoever comes in next... Yeah, there's a, a falsetto back there. I can't tell if it's through the whole thing, uh, but you can definitely hear it at the very end. Uh, you can hear a falsetto very low underneath there. It's really vibey. Yeah, she's, they start with uh, the Shining Stars part. So there's a lower uh, voice underneath, and then they switch. Well, I think the lower voice stays, but then they also add a falsetto voice underneath. That's a lot of layering. That's really, really cool. That much detail uh, in a rap section. <laughs> The harmonies. And that hits so nicely. You could walk around in this mix. Made it a little bit lighter now. I gotta hear that again. Holy shit. So the whole song so far has a little bit of darkness to it, right? Uh, it's just the harder edge. Uh, but there's bright elements as well, and they're definitely going back and forth between the light and the dark in the uh, the bridge itself. Let's go back and hear this again. Uh, further back. Bright. Dark and bright. The back and forth is really cool. I love this song. Falsetto ad lab in the back. Hold on, I just talked right over that. That was so high. Holy shit. Wow. Mariah Carey, hello? That song 
was so sick. And yes, it's it's a sound that I imagine that they did. I just, you know, didn't expect to hear it on the second B-side that we, we check out. But what I love about it is that it's a harder edge, but it's still them, right? Like, they really flexed with the the, the, the vocal layering. Uh, we all know that they can sing, right? But even the, the attention to detail, even in just the rap section, right? It's not just each of them doing their own part. There are layers to that, and it's really, really sick. And then, obviously, when they're singing, we know they're great at all the harmonies and everything, too. This song is so, so good. And I'm going to say it again. Why didn't we do this sooner? All right. All right, you guys, uh, let me know in the comment section what we should check out next from them. And I'm going to go down the list of the groups that we've checked out so far who we have not heard B-sides from. So really enjoying this. Uh, if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>